Welcome to the new English episode, probably nothing, the IOTA news of the last days. I'm Alexander, here we go. On 14th of July we all have the opportunity at the Machen Festival to watch Holger Köter talk about blockchain and general crypto news. Tickets are priced from 22 euro. Timson Labs released a new update 1.1.0 to their platform Fiobix. They are now using their DLT green node to communicate with the Tangle. They also call the whole community to help. The team wants to add more exchanges and is depending on our help. If you have bought IOTA on the following exchanges, please feel free to contact the team. They have also posted instructions on how to find out the cold or hot wallets. Shimasi and Accumulator have entered into a partnership. According to Twitter, Accumulator will develop the yield aggregator for Shimasi. Both projects will launch with the launch of Shimasi. Shimasi is also partnering with Snowman. This will allow people to trade Snowman's so USD on Shimasi. Muandelo has again discovered a new patent where IOTA was mentioned. The whole thing was applied for by Eaton Intelligent Power Limited. Eaton provides necessary tools to monitor and manage power devices in your physical or virtual environment. This patent is to deliver the following the exchange of power in smart contracts. It should be noted, as always, that IOTA is not stated here as the solution, but it's mentioned as an example alongside Ethereum, among others. Landex published a blog post, why Landex is a part of the good life. Interesting, read through in two minutes, otherwise you can skip it in this time. But for completeness, I mentioned it anyway. A much more interesting and contentful article is available on crypto.news titled The Ins and Outs of IOTA's Marketplace. The IOTA Marketplace has been around since 2017 and is meant to give everyone the chance to buy and sell data. For another 21 days you can still stake your IOTAs in the Firefly app. To do so assembly post a tweet. As of the 29th of June 1.78 trillion assembly had been distributed to the IOTA community. Kapi has revised his proposal about a 20% increase in shimmer supply. You can discuss, read along and participate at governiota.org. This is an important topic and you can actively participate. In this second proposal it addresses a few questions such as the why does it need a fund, about dilution and whether to use the IOTA community treasury. As of today only 182 votes have been cast. Considering how many subscribers this channel has, how many Discord and Telegram users there are, it's a sad number. Now let's get to the two important issues in my opinion. One is the EU decision to anonymize crypto payments and the second issue is the restructuring of the IOTA Foundation. First of all on EU. IOTA Foundation has already shared their concerns and an open letter. In the future, anyone using cryptocurrencies in the EU should be able to be identified regardless on the counter value. So out with the anonymity. However, there will be a bagatelle limit of 1000 euro. This also applies to unhosted wallets. In example, wallets that do not belong to people but to the IoT devices such as cars or machines. This means that all payments above the, this limit do not have to be controlled. Above this limit the server provider must determine whether the remitter is also the correct customer. This is supposed to curb crime. In many eyes, however, this slows down the economy and the plans of IoT as long as the device does not crack the 1000 euro. What are your opinions? Many speak of a missed opportunity. On Friday a new blog post from the IOTA Foundation also came out about the restructuring of IOTA's own ranks. I quote, however the IOTA's Foundation's primary role has always been to research and develop the core protocol and its building blocks and to build and support the community. The Foundation was never intended to take responsibility for building and commercializing solutions based on IOTA or to provide consulting services on to businesses. As a result, major projects are now being spin off. These projects are expanded to set up their own company and do their own businesses, since the IOTA Foundation can't do them very well, based on its type of a foundation. 
In the future, the main purpose of the IOTA Foundation will be scientific validation and development of the core protocol and its building blocks. The whole thing is happening, of course, because the crypto market, as you all know, has crashed quite a bit. And that's where layoffs or just these kinds of spin-off steps are not uncommon. You slim down and concentrate on the essential things. In Discord, we answered quite a few questions, a few questions that are in this context. About 15 people have been outsourced or terminated. Another answer was related to um, the Firefly. It's, it is funny to see that the foundation has a wallet its own because there's a lot of money involved and the foundation cannot organize marketing. And the most important question of all, can the IOTA foundation still fund itself? According to Dom, yes, they will easily inherit it. Otherwise, they will make sure they inherit it, whatever that means. Hans is also staying with the IOTA Foundation. Blackpin did an interview with PSE Solutions from Switzerland. The company deals with the construction industry and PSE Solutions want to use Blackpin's messenger. This should improve communication and construction sites. On Saturday, Blackpin was also at the health and care trade show and as always, they want to show their messenger to the industry. Lighthouse project number two is getting underway, this time with Zebra. In just under 18 minutes, the partnership between IOTA and Zebra is presented here. However, nothing new is mentioned in this video. It should be seen as a mere summary. The We 3 committee has recommended the DID, Decentralized Identifier, as a standard. Tim Berners-Lee wrote for the objections that until now all internet standards did not fulfill all wishes at the beginning. Only with further development they become better and better. That's why the DID standard is introduced now. So that is can be improved early on by the whole community and gradually fulfill all requirements. Other solutions would or even make it more complicated and the director concluded that the development community should dedicate itself to the DID. In the next period, the working group should address to deliver the proposed standards, DID method, methods and demonstrate interoperable implementations. Maybe IOTA's moment. IOTA bots and TangleC will be releasing educational videos for DeFi over the next few days. Anyone interested should follow the two channels. Since IOTA showcased all of their partners for Shimmer, a few new projects have popped up as well. Among them is Bifrost, a telegram wallet. In the third quarter the alpha is supposed to come out. You can already try it on the website. The biggest concern of the community was the Russian mail address. In my opinion, excessive reaction. Because not all programmers from Russia are scammers and supporters of the war. Presumption of innocence until something else turns up. Schmucklos has also found Car Iota. Virtual interactive ecosystem from the point of view of the vehicle as an economic agent. It moves the judicious and costly struggle of evaluating mobility solutions and business models to the virtual world using IOTA Tangle technology. Unfortunately, the sign up process doesn't work for me. For you? Last but not least, Hans published part 5 of of his DLT series. In this article, Hans explained his idea of tokenomics that he already expressed three years ago. Many are frightened by this article at the moment, since many see again further years of research. Thereby, many want to have finally a product. It is in my eyes only a proposal and an idea that can be implemented later as a development. Hans is in my eyes a visionary and this proposal is not set in stone. Quantic also tweeted the following on Twitter. IOTA is partnering with DDRS, the Digital Deposit Return Scheme. In example, a deposit return system for bottles. Another partnership was discovered with Spacer. Spicer, a company which production systems through AI-based resilience optimization. On the 27th of June there was another stronghold update which can now be found in version 0.6.3 but brings only minor improvements. On the 4th of July the update 
zero come out and should bring a feature for the future and later in the night to the 6th of July version.0.1 came out an update that improves the security. Thanks for watching, look positive for the future and see you next time.